Hey everyone, welcome to Marketing by John. Today we're talking 2021 marketing strategies, mostly for small businesses. So I get this question a ton right now, January, February, that's when everybody is figuring out what strategies are the best ones for this year. And so when we talk about small businesses, generally we're talking about businesses that are under $20 million in annual revenue. Don't know what the technical level is, but $20 million and under is our sort of qualification for a small business. And generally when you're talking $20 million or under, marketing budgets are limited and we look to more organic strategies versus high-level paid strategies. We have a combination of both. By paid, I mean Google ads, Facebook ads, YouTube ads, you know, whatever, TikTok ads, paid advertising, right? So generally, we're going to be looking at more organic, uh, efficient strategies and then support those with paid media. Um, and so that's what this podcast is going to focus around. So a few things to highlight. In 2021, there is incredible opportunities to get awareness from just creating content. It's getting easier and easier and easier to create content and uh, have it do well. The reason is because of a few things. Number one, technology. So there's apps out there that you can get on your phone that will allow you to edit videos, edit podcasts. Um, a few resources are Anchor is a podcast app where you can record and edit your podcast right and distribute your podcast right on the app. Uh, YouTube allows you to film and edit right inside their app. Uh, and there's a ton of third-party apps that will allow you to edit videos and uh, audio and distribute them right specifically to platforms. Not to mention the social media platforms themselves are creating editing right within them. So you can record and edit um, you know, basic stuff right in Instagram, you know, right, right in uh, Facebook, right in a lot of the, the apps, right in TikTok. So uh, technology is number one. Number two is the quality of content, of, of other people's expectations is getting lower. We have platforms like TikTok and the newest one, Clubhouse, which are essentially relatively raw and unedited. You know, now a TikTok is, is highly edited or could be, but it's not like high production cameras. We're not talking $40,000 video shoots here. We're talking cell phone videos and uh, entertaining content, right? So when I look at small business opportunities, we're, we're effectively looking for the most efficient strategies. And the, the reason why this year is going to be so great for small businesses is that the quality of content doesn't have to have any high production behind it. Um, and the technology allows anybody to pick up their phone and create content. And these platforms like Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat and TikTok and LinkedIn and Clubhouse are all free. <laughs> that is the best part is they are all free. And so some of the older ones like Facebook and YouTube, they're tougher to break through because they're so saturated. There's you know 2 billion people on there. But the new ones like Clubhouse uh, or creating a podcast uh, or even still on Instagram, if you create the right type of content, even if you get 100, 200, 300 people to, to like or comment or engage with it, and you, know, and you get 20 customers out of there or you get five customers out of there, that's a win because it was free. It just took your time. So small business in 2021, look at the up and coming platforms that are still not saturated yet or look at the ones that are kind of the staple and create content. It's as simple as that. There's no secret to success in marketing uh, uh, in, in 2021 other than creating content where there isn't a full saturation in your particular industry. Or if you're really good at creating content, there could be a full saturation. And so I'm going to focus in on Clubhouse. It's the hot app. Uh, I did an episode on it a couple, couple episodes ago. But Clubhouse is a really great place. Um, one that I haven't even carved the time out to spend more time on. And luckily this week, my team t finally buckled down and was like, hey, we Let's get on Clubhouse because there's still not a lot of people. It's still in beta, so so you need to get an invite to get on there. And if you can basically get on there, get called up on stage to voice your opinion, you're going to amass a following. And so any business leader out there, small business leader, I would suggest you get on Clubhouse. You start engaging with people. Uh, you keep raising your hand. There's a little hand raise button on there. Get up on stage and start chit-chatting about your industry and you'll grow a following 
because there is about to be a lot of business done on Clubhouse. So uh, that would be an actual marketing strategy for 99% of small businesses out there. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're a manufacturer. Get on there and start talking about U.S. manufacturing. It doesn't matter if you're in fashion, if you're in uh, professional services, if you're a construction worker. If you have any goals to grow your business um, in, in the public's eye, you know, with clients and customers, Clubhouse is a great place to get on there. I wouldn't even call that creating content because it's not even savable. It's, it's networking. It's more business development than anything. Uh, but then also look over on the existing social media platforms and start creating content there. If you're already creating content, create more content. My team, my personal brand was launched in 2021. It's called Can't Stop. John Timmerman Can't Stop because it fits into my personality of ADHD and I can't stop. I just want to go, 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 go all the time. Um, and then I, we have more content that we're putting out on uh, Good Monsters under Good Monsters brands called Marketing is a Monster, and it's a funny show that I do. It's edited, um, and it it's very short, bite-sized marketing tips, and then some humor in there. Uh, we're creating tons more content for No Bull Con, uh, No Bull Conference, and uh, we're diving into more content, more content, more content, more content, because uh, it's it's in the place where it's a quantity game over a quality game. Um, you know, quantity at this particular point for most small businesses is better than quality. And that's a big hurdle for a lot of businesses to get over. They want to be perfect. They want to have the perfect brand. They want to make sure every sentence is ending in a period and the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed. And I understand why, but you have to understand that 99% of people who are skimming through anywhere on the internet are not looking at your grammar, are not looking at the specific lighting on your photos. You can get away with a lot of cell phone photos, most brands out there and businesses. So creating more content and just making sure you have the pillars of good content, um, good lighting, decent audio, and a good picture, then you're good to go. Uh, that's the name of the game. 2020 marketing strategies, create more content. If you want to learn specifically how to create more content, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube or if you're watching it on LinkedIn, uh, make sure you follow me. I'll be diving into some more detailed episodes about how to create better videos, how to create, uh, uh, how to write better copy uh, with limited resources. So you don't need a whole video production studio to do this. You don't need a copywriting team to do this. So I'll be doing specific ep episodes on that. But just know that in 2021, the best thing that you can do for your marketing is to create more content. You will learn, you will adapt, you'll figure out what is doing well and what is not doing well. And don't be afraid of something not doing well or falling flat because the way social media and the internet works is that if it's not good, people won't see it. If it's not good quality, people won't see it. Now, if it's a controversial idea, people will definitely see it. So just understand that. So anyways, thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you're listening to this on uh, my podcast, please leave me a review. It's the only way I know if these are hitting hard and uh, people like it. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.